Since 1886, this architectural gem, distinguished by its Romanesque style, has graced the streets of Austin, Texas, quietly witnessing many stories. However, beneath its lavish exterior lies a history steeped in mystery, scandal, and the supernatural. Hello and welcome back to Terrifying Tales and Haunted Locations. Today our journey brings us to the heart of Austin, Texas to explore a well-known haunted location where the shadows of history are entwined with the present. Our destination, the renowned and haunted Driscoll Hotel, where elegance converges with the eerie and the spirits of the past linger in the halls. The Driscoll Hotel was constructed by Colonel Jesse Driscoll, a visionary cattle baron who amassed his wealth during the Civil War by supplying his beef to the Confederate Army. Completed in 1886, the original four-story Romanesque revival structure was constructed of over six million pressed bricks. Initially, the hotel opened with 60 rooms, including 12 corner rooms with attached baths. A 13-story annex, or addition, was added in 1930 and featured 180 rooms and a bungalow, or what we call today a penthouse. The bungalow consisted of two bedrooms with private baths, a living room, and a full kitchen. Originally, the bungalow served as a private residence for Southern Pacific Railroad superintendents. The bungalow was subsequently rented to high-profile guests, such as Jack Dempsey, Bob Hope, and LBJ, or President Lyndon Johnson. Interestingly, it was the grand ballroom of the Driscoll that President Johnson first met his soon-to-be wife and first lady, Lady Bird Johnson. The hotel is known for its white limestone accents, featuring two notable porticos on its southern and eastern facades. Yet concealed behind the Driscoll's beautiful architecture and rich history is a darker narrative, one woven with whispers of unfulfilled dreams and tragic endings. Many guests have reported mysterious footsteps, doors opening on their own, and the distant sounds of a piano playing in an empty room. The legend of Colonel Driscoll is told that not long after the hotel opened, Jesse faced financial struggles. Rumor has it that in an attempt to overcome these difficulties, he ended up gambling away the hotel deed in a card game. Colonel Driscoll's spirit is said to haunt the hotel, wandering the halls, earning him the nickname The Cowboy. One account of Colonel Driscoll's alleged hauntings involves a guest waking up in the middle of the night and witnessing the silhouette of a man near the window, peering down into the streets. According to the guest, the figure was wearing a cowboy hat and puffing on a cigar. When the guest turned on the light to confront the intruder, the mysterious figure vanished, but the lingering smoke from the cigar remained visible. In room 329, another haunting tale is told about a young bride, simply referred to as the bride. In the early 1990s, heartbroken after her fiancé called off the wedding at the last minute, it is said that on what was supposed to be her wedding night, she was devastated. Allegedly, she took her own life in room 329, only after a hefty $40,000 shopping spree, which was charged to her ex-fiancé's credit card. Some believe her tormented spirit still roams, seeking closure from the lost love. Guests also claim that they have seen her ghost dragging her bags through the hotel corridors. Another ghost rumored to haunt the Driscoll is that of a child who met a tragic end by falling down a flight of stairs. According to the story, the child was reaching for a ball, overreached, and suffered a fatal fall. Paranormal investigators assert that they have recorded the faint sound of a ball bouncing against the walls, accompanied by a mischievous <laughs> giggle, believed to be the spirit of the departed child. In addition, a painting located on the hotel's fifth floor is the centerpiece of another haunting tale. Though the artwork lacks a formal title, it draws inspiration from Charles Garland's painting, Love Letter, and was skillfully brought to life by Richard King. 
The unsettling piece portrays a young girl holding a bouquet of flowers in one hand and a letter in the other. According to Ghost Hunters, the painting supposedly depicts the tragic fate of the four-year-old daughter of the U.S. Senator Temple Houston, who met her demise in a horrific accident at the hotel. Legend has it that the painting is haunted, with individuals passing by claiming to sense a sinister presence trailing them throughout the hotel. And last but not least, one of the most renowned ghostly tales associated with the hotel is the story of Lady Bird and LBJ. Their initial romantic encounter occurred in 1934 in the Driscoll's dining room. Over the years, the couple continued to frequent the hotel, not only to reminisce about their past, but also to celebrate special occasions. It is said that the Driscoll held a special place in LBJ's heart, becoming his preferred spot during visits to Austin. Even today, when people enter the ballroom, they report catching glimpses of the late president and his devoted wife in the mirrors or seeing them out of the corner of their eyes. Throughout the years, many guests and staff have shared their encounters with the unexplained. From phantom laughter echoing in corridors to glimpses of shadowy figures in mirrors, is the Driscoll Hotel merely an elegant relic of a bygone era, or does the hotel indeed harbor secrets that defy explanation? Share your thoughts on this paranormal relic from the past in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And let us know if there are any haunted locations you'd like us to cover in future videos. Until next time, thank you for watching. <laughs>